Attention ladies and gentlemen, the deadly dopamine crash is on the horizon, and if you don't reclaim your life right now, you could well end up in a disastrous catastrophe by mid-2023. Bet it's hard to digest, and we couldn't believe it either until our mystery millionaire and Hollywood's most anticipated invisible man, Justin Timberlake, proved it otherwise. His claims and odd practices left us quite skeptical until we stumbled across why he firmly advocates against the parasites that are hollowing our purposes with a speed unknown to man. Now, we know it sounds quite exaggerated, but pay attention because JT's upcoming solid facts and researched phenomenon will leave you with cold sweats and asking for more top tier secrets. What's even crazier is that our belief grew deeper in his hardcore dopamine tricks when JT precisely laid the blueprint for his 21st century detox, and we got lucky enough to examine each of his techniques, only to conclude that this man is a psychological genius. And out of all his heavily tested ways, in today's video, we will extract the top four detox ingredients that made Justin Timberlake effortlessly swap his careers and live 10 lives in one. So without wasting any time, let's get straight to the juice. Interestingly, ladies and gentlemen, most of us know Timberlake from jobs that couldn't be more different from one other. Some people may recognize him for his energetic Sigma man personality and his diverse interest in business, while others may recall him as the brave young man who broke away from a band to pursue and flourish in a solo music career or as the person who has so few friends that he can count them on one hand. But as most fans can attest, our guy JT tends to be somewhat sedentary. If so, why? Well, because Timberlake's dopamine detox has had such a profound effect on his life that he now subtly places himself as a filler in everything he does. From social media posts to in-person appearances, this not only allows him to focus more intently on his art, but also prevents him from wasting time and energy on the pursuit of controversial fame. So here's JT's power tip number one, cultivate focus. This technique is as simple as it sounds. No twisted games, no alternate realities, just the basic understanding of an ongoing proverb. What you sow, so shall you reap. When Justin was transitioning from a singer to an actor, he was met with waves of anxiety and anticipation, but what kept him moving without an ounce of fear were the fruits of focus he cultivated years ago, which were now ready to be harvested. In a more concrete context, this method is all about getting rid of the feelings and behaviors that are holding us back from our true potential. It's 2023, and high time that people realize that detoxing your daily life routine will open doors to new opportunities and perspectives that will remain undecipherable until you clear the fog in your brain. What a lot of people don't want to accept is that social media and all the means of communication and entertainment that have now oversimplified our life have also made us weak and lethargic. Thus, it is important to pick up activities and feed your brain focus to live a more valuable life. In this way, you are likely to dodge bullets and soak in as many positive attributes as possible during the trial. More importantly, this seemingly simplistic strategy really strengthens your conviction in your goal and creates an alternate increase in adrenaline that we will discuss in the upcoming segments. So here's a quick transition to technique number two, homeostasis through tolerance. Scientifically speaking, dopamine is a naturally occurring molecule in the human body that serves as a neurotransmitter and is employed in the creation of other chemicals, such as adrenaline, which is why it is so crucial to understand its role in the body and how it drives the development of our species. According to Timberlake, when we first consider dopamine, it seems like a sacred idea. Nevertheless, when we dig further, we find it has some dark underpinnings that should not be dismissed. More specifically, dopamine is an agent that functions as an incentive when we get things done and boost our quality of life by controlling our emotions and getting us pumped to take on challenges. However, in the modern world, humans have developed an escape technique wherein they acquire dopamine without any labor at all. This is known as negative dopamine, 
which is gained by engaging in romantic fan fiction, scrounging social media posts, etc. for women, and watching indecent media, eating fast food, etc. for males. However, the fact that this dopamine is acquired in an unfavorable way makes us more prone to lethargy and increases our need for constant social approval is rarely acknowledged. In simple terms, when a man works out or reads a financial profitable book, his body releases dopamine and regulates serotonin. But when he replaces those activities with something unholy and less profitable, his body will become addicted to a dopamine consumption that requires no effort. This negative curve prevents us from being productive and causes a deficiency of success and will to accomplish our goals. Justin Timberlake struggled until he found homeostasis via tolerance. Homeostasis is a state of equilibrium where dopamine and serotonin are balanced and we have the will to work hard and achieve our goals. This state can only be achieved if you train your body to tolerate the discomfort you feel after working hard and train your mindset to abstain easily and negatively acquired dopamine. After all, dopamine determines life quality, and if you have the blueprints to master the graphs of dopamine, you will be stronger than anyone else. Ladies and gentlemen, here's time for the much-awaited tip number three, radicalization of your brain. Let's take an example to understand this point better. Imagine you have been deserted on an island for 30 days. During this duration, you only have access to leaves and certain fruits to make out alive. On the 31st day, when you are successfully rescued and presented with some home-cooked food, what will be your reaction? Would you refuse to eat it because your taste receptors won't be satisfied? Or cry tears of joy and thank God for a well-prepared meal? Exactly. This is what the radicalization of the brain means. You cut down all unhealthy and easy sources of dopamine and starve yourself until you become accustomed to the beneficial dopamine consumption. Cutting away all sources of dopamine and engaging in what has been dubbed a dopamine fast is part of a radicalization of the brain strategy that is relatively unknown. Dopamine fasting is quite probable, according to Justin Timberlake's behavior and daily routines. Whether you do it for 7 days, 21 days, or a long duration of 6 months, practicing this method will help you prevent your brain from engaging in behaviors that may harm you in the long term and allow your dopamine receptors to recover, more like a do or die situation. Now, once your brain becomes accustomed to rigorous exercising and brain developing techniques, you could practice this fasting every day and follow the 15 minute ease rule after honestly working for 2 hours. This way, you could keep yourself disciplined and motivated at the same time. Dear celebrity enthusiasts, listen carefully because what we're about to share next is JT's most frequently practiced technique, the unimportance of being right. Since we've already established the significance of devoting oneself to worthwhile pursuits and demonstrating one's potential for greatness, we can go on to discuss why it's not always essential to want people's validation and therefore why it's not always necessary to appreciate the importance of being correct. If you look closely, you'll notice that many famous people spend their time participating in conversations and doing activities that make them popular with the public, irrespective of whether or not they should do that. And what these stars also don't realize is that by doing so, they lose their own sense of worth and identity and merely assume the roles assigned to them by the public. Now, of course, we are not suggesting you become an introvert, rather, you should regulate your conversations and channel your energy into doing something more creative. You can understand this better by tracing the patterns in Justin Timberlake's public appearances. You would never find him in the headlines, or have fans swooning over him, but he's still one of the top listed artists of today. So here's the crux, eliminate dubious pleasures from your life and adapt to a lifestyle that challenges you and makes you your better version. It's ideal to fix your mistakes in life at this very moment because you repeat what you don't repair. 